And so then you make this, and you make sheet after sheet after sheet. You get a build block that looks like this then. Every layer different, carbon fiber, fiber peak. And all those little polymer particles melted wrap around the carbon fiber. Everywhere where you didn't have powder, you simply sandblast away. It's just, it's, it feels like it's like a comp, it's like stone as opposed to metal. Welcome guys, we're here at Impossible Objects at AMUG 2023, and I'm here with Steve, CEO of Impossible Objects, and they've got some really cool stuff. Now, if you've been following us for a while, you know we do high temperature, peak, old and PPSU, stuff like that, and FDM. So when we saw these guys doing peak carbon fiber parts with a completely different and new process, we couldn't resist but come in here and, and find out more and everything. So Steve, uh, I'll let you take it away. You guys have a really unique style of printing that's completely new, right? Yes, it is. Radically different and radical for a purpose. Better is our purpose. Better, I love it. Better in what ways? We're faster and we're stronger. So let me show you how that works. Who doesn't want that? Our process is called composite-based additive manufacturing. Every word makes a difference in there. This is a fabric, non-woven fabric, carbon fiber. We also do it with fiberglass. You start with that blank sheet, and what do you do? You take an inkjet head, and you spray the pattern you want on that layer, whatever pattern you want for your part. What you do is you apply the powder all over this surface. The powder is a thermoplastic. In this case, we do peak, we do nylon, we can do other materials. And you just throw the powder on everywhere on that sheet. Now, what you do next is you run a vacuum over the sheet, because where the powder is dry, it vacuums right up. Where it's wet, it sticks. And so then you make this, the layer that you were trying to print. All done at room temperature, and you make sheet after sheet after sheet. You get a build block that looks like this then. Every layer different, carbon fiber, fiber peak. Unlike an FDM process where you gotta heat up and cool down, and where there's differential thermal stresses because the layer beneath is at a different temperature than the layer above, we don't have that problem. So we can print very quickly at room temp. You take that stack and you heat it up above the melting point of the polymer. All that polymer melts, you got a liquid, and then you put it in a press and you compress it. And all those little polymer particles melted wrap around the carbon fiber. So you've got now a continuous part from top to bottom that's solid. It's not a lamination, they're not glued together. It's a solid part of the polymer with the little carbon fibers inside it. Everywhere, where you didn't have powder, you simply sandblast away. It's like Indiana Jones digging out your dinosaur yeah. bone. And because, again, we're doing that compression, when the object is all at one temperature, we don't get the differential stresses, the cracks and the bending and warping that can occur with other processes. So I can show you that if some parts, if you want to come over yeah, here and check out some of those. Check them out. Okay. So here's an example. We love the flatness of these kinds of parts. And the surface finish, if you get a close-up of that, it's pretty good. That's right as it comes out. There's no extra surface processing. This is as coming out of the out of the sandblaster. So you see this board in here actually is for wave solder. You gotta do this at manufacturing speed. So what you do is you put it on this fixture and you ride that whole thing through a hot molten solder bath, 230 degrees C. So we take this board and run it tens of thousands of times through a 230 degree C bath with solder and solder flux, which is pretty chemically nasty. And that's where the peak and yes. the carbon fiber come yes. in, high temp, chemically resistant. Absolutely. Right? Now there's some other things we're doing, which I think are pretty interesting too. That's a drone blade. Well, drone blades run pretty fast. They rotate really quickly. 20,000 plus RPM. There you go. Yeah. And uh, they tend to fly apart. But yeah. not if you've got carbon fiber in there keeping that stiff. So it is a non-woven sheet. Um, but these fibers in here are 15 millimeter long. So way longer than the yeah. top fiber because they can't fit through a nozzle. Yeah. So we get yeah. much stronger, much stiffer parts than you can get with the top carbon fiber. Yeah. And again, way faster because I print that layer. Right. I print two of those layers every minute. If you guys want to see literally the latest and greatest in technology here in the U.S. in additive manufacturing, Rapid GCP is the show to be at. It's where everybody unveils their new products and they come out with all the cool stuff. You'll see robot arms, you'll see all kinds of manufacturing stuff at every kind of 3D printer there is. So definitely consider it. Well, let's talk about this drone real quick. I'm just going to hold, yeah. hold some parts. I'm going to feel sure, them and everything. Great. I'm a drone, FPV drone pilot myself. That's uh, okay. a lot of the guys at the shop. We all so, love 
RC and drones and yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. We've flown this puppy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Made it. All the 3D printed parts. Again, carbon fiber, lightweight, nice flat yeah. parts if you need it. Is this peak, peak. or nylon? Uh, that's peak. Woo! That's carbon fiber carbon peak. Carbon fiber peak, peak drone. This there you is go, a baby. bucket list. Including the propellers. Yes, yes. Flex, right? Now, uh, our, our, our guy Cole loves to do random experimental crazy stuff. And so one of the, I walk into the office one day right. and he's got some big, you know, ultra KV motor and he's printed a few props and he's like, I'm okay. seeing how fast they go before they explode. And I'm like, dear God, wear safety goggles. Anyway. Um, yeah, don't try this at home. <laughs> don't try, try this, this at, at home. home. Yeah. No, they do work. They do yeah. blow air. But then we've got some nice, nice, really, you know, thick, heavy parts. Yeah. Too, right. What so is this used produce... for? That's a bearing cage, right? I mean, just a, a mount for, uh, yeah. for an industrial uh, bearing mount. Right? Whatever, so whatever kind of heavy. machine. That one's nylon. That's a nylon, cool. uh, cool, nylon cool. piece. Getting the parts out, out. Are you sandblasting it We're out? Just or? Sandblasting it. Yep. You just. It's pretty easy. Here, I'll take one of these off. We'll show your audience. It blasts away pretty easy because. If you look at these non-woven fibers, maybe you come, you can see yeah, through them. Super close. So they're pretty flimsy, actually, without the polymer melted around it. So yeah. I'll show you how it rips. So they bead blast the part pretty easily. Sweet. So you got to yeah. sandblast it, but it's Spread not out. a Spread out. 100 yeah. psi should do the job. There you go. Yeah. Right. The right grit, and you know. Yeah. 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 All right. It's all good. Nice. Nice. And then uh, let's check this thing. Just one. a nice, you know. Impossible big. object. Yeah. It's just. It's, it feels like it's like a comp, it's like stone as opposed to metal. Yes. You know? Yeah. Although it's, here, I'll give oh, you a. Is, uh, you ah. Your mic probably won't pick this up, but if we have a concrete oh, floor. Oh, I love it. I love I it. I love like, so right, carbon fiber peak. I, mean, I just. Hear yeah. That high modulus performance yeah. material sound. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's just start throwing the whole thing I around. That's what I love about uh, our materials. Yeah, right. You can. You can. Yeah, why awesome. not? Awesome. Steve, thank you so much. This is fantastic, amazing Great. stuff. Check them out, impossible-objects.com. And if you want to learn more, reach out. And of course, if you want high-temp 3D printing, 3D scanning, we're here to help. So thanks again. Have a positive rest of your day. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care.